Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Siobhan. If you are new, we're going to start out the day making some yummy breakfast burritos before we tackle this clean and organized pantry with me. I hope you guys enjoy. Stick around to the end. Let me know if you like what you see. If so, hit that like and subscribe button. You can always leave me a comment and so we can chit chat in the comment section. So I'm showing you an overview here of the pantry before we get started. A lot of things was just out of place. There was so much going on on the floor. We had some potatoes there. You'll see here in a minute, they were looking at quite dicey. They actually worked out fine. They just were growing a lot of um, little eyes on them. Went ahead and pulled them out. I ended up uh, getting those handled that evening. Yikes. I wanted to go ahead and start by pulling everything out. I didn't pull everything out, but I pulled a lot of the things that I could just say, see right off the bat that was in the wrong place and go ahead and start getting these first few shelves tidied up here a bit and get things put back to where they belong. It makes for a much easier meal time when you're able to just go into my pantry and find exactly what I'm looking for. So we utilize this pantry for a lot of stuff. I store my carpet cleaner in here, my crosswave is stored in here, and our um, stick vacuums are both kept in here. And so those pretty much take up any floor real estate. So I don't really want anything else on the floor except for those because that's already a tight squeeze. So a lot of pasta needed to be restocked. My two older children love to make homemade ramen and they use spaghetti noodles. So we go through a good bit of spaghetti noodles. So that needed to be stocked up. And like I had mentioned earlier, I had went to the store the day before. This is why you see the big old pile of stuff there. It was a snow day. The kids got to enjoy hot chocolate. I, I love getting them some hot, fresh hot chocolate after their hands are so cold. All right, well, we're gonna go and get this pasta put back into the pantry. You can see there, I've got all those cans and stuff that need to be put away. And that's what we were doing today. So this bottom shelf here, you'll see, we typically keep our tortillas and whatnot on top. This was a lot of things that needed to go in the trash that had been there for a while. Crushed up taco shells from leftover meals. So went ahead and disposed of those. The white shelf here at the bottom, the three bin shelf, we typically keep backup stuff and then just grab and go snacky items like little packs of goldfish, cheese it crackers, that type of deal. So it had gotten a lot of crumbs in the drawers. It was just messy. So I really knew I needed to get to that. And you'll see here, I'm organizing the top as I refill the containers. Some things were actually organized, they were just simply in the wrong spot. So you'll see the little stand there to the right. That's actually from an old business that I used to work for. Uh, they were throwing it out and I knew it would be the perfect organization for my cans in my pantry. It's actually on rolling wheels. We just don't need to roll it in here because there's not that much room, but it is on wheels and it stores a ton of canned vegetables and stuff. So, I mean, each line I can have up to about 12 cans on each line and there is, I, it looks like one, two, three, it looks like about um, six racks, I think. And so that's a lot of cans. So it came in handy, it was free and it saved it from the landfill. And 
Atlanta is great vertical storage since I don't have a ton of real estate. So that there is our pancake mix container. It was empty, but I do have a backup box in here that it just simply needs to be refilled. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that. You'll do see um, on the top of the black stand, stand there, I do keep some of my small appliances that I don't use every single day on top there. So those just needed a little bit of tidying up as well. Um, I was afraid the one was gonna fall off. It was kind of sitting up there awkwardly. I ended up busting the case of water as I pulled it out. So you'll see later on here how I ended up fixing that uh, predicament. We don't buy bottles of water really anymore, but I do like to keep one or two cases on hand just for emergency purposes. Like this past week, our pipes in our kitchen had froze for a few hours because we were in the negative degrees. Uh, so those came in handy. But for the most part, we just keep jugs of water in the very, very pack of this pantry for strictly emergencies. But other than that, we don't use bottled water anymore. We just invested in a lot of filtration systems, uh, pitchers and Berkeys and those sort of things. And so we don't really need bottled water anymore. We use those and then we fill our reusable bottles of water. And like you had saw for here a minute ago, that top of that stand was rather dirty. So I went ahead and sprayed it down and get it wiped down really good. We're also gonna wipe down all the drawers and vacuum out any crumbs and all of that and get this right, back so under control. No uh, you'll hear my little really guys in the background playing we just some keep uh, a lot of phone things games and enjoying their hot chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out of there and go through that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull everything out of one drawer at a time. And I'm gonna make a little pile here of trash. Actually, I do have a little pan here. I can go ahead and put the trash in there. So as we're going through these bins here a little bit, I wanted to give you guys a heads up on what to expect on my channel. So I'm going to try to just get back to a routine of posting. My plan right now is to have a new video up every Tuesday uh, at 7 p.m. So you guys can look forward to that. Uh, right now, I'm not exactly positive on the content. I just simply want to put my content out there, enjoy making videos, and you'll see what you get. It's all gonna be around homemaking and lifestyle content and food and organization and cleaning and family and that sort of thing. So that is a general idea of what you will see on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, if you do, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. If not, maybe consider checking out another video in the future and see then if it's something you would be interested in. wanted to make sure to dust the outside of the stand really well and wipe down any crumbs that had built up on the outside. I also went ahead and wiped the floor around it. Now we do end up running the cross wave in here really good, but there, you know, there's some things up against the wall that the cross wave just wouldn't be able to reach. So I wanted to make sure I got it all. You will 
will see throughout the pantry that there is a few scuff marks and whatnot on the walls. At some point, I will probably take some paint and touch it up a little bit, but it's really not that big a deal to me. This pantry has a door on it, and we use this pantry constantly. We are a family of seven, four of which are little boys. Well, not little, but some are little, some are not. Four boys. So you know how boys can get. They can get rough and beat things up and give things a toss in here. So I'm really not worried about that. Um, but I really wanted it to be organized, clean, and no dirt and grime. So here I'm just trying to show you what we're working with. So I keep these little baskets. There's one that I keep for fruits and pie fillings. Uh, this one here has all my life straws, um, weather jackets in case we're without electricity, extra toilet paper, paper towels, matches, all that is in there. Um, we also have one for just condiments. I think I showed you that a little bit earlier. We keep extra, you know, mustard, honey mustard, ketchup, barbecue sauce, ranch, A1 soy sauce, steak sauce, all that stuff in there. So here's the mess we're working with outside of the pantry. It's a process, but it all gets done and it's amazing afterwards for sure. You'll see here, I'm pulling out a lot of Christmas stuff. I'm getting ready to decorate for Valentine's and Christmas is already up by this point, but there was a few things that I guess had gotten shoved in the pantry and nobody realized. So I'm, as I'm cleaning the pantry, I'm gathering those and we'll end up putting those back in our storage and uh, pulling out the Valentine's. I will probably show you guys a Valentine's coffee bar, keep clean and decorate with me. I'm thinking that will be my next video. It will be dedicated to clean, cleaning and decorating my coffee station. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this floor mopped up really good with our cross wave. Okay, so here we are on to the cubed black stand. At the top shelf, I keep a variety of things. We don't really use these drink mixes too much. Um, there is two of them that are open that we are actually gonna go ahead and roll through, but the other ones are strictly for backup. Emergency purposes only. Uh, but we also keep a lot of pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, salsa, grated cheese, um, tomato sauce, tomato paste, and all that here on this top shelf. pancake mix cleaned up and put away. I made a little bit of a oops. You also notice there on the back of the door of the pantry, I didn't really show that too much. It didn't really need any organization. I just keep all of my powders and things that I keep in jars there and just restock them as I go. So there really was no need to clean up. Here is our mess at the end, all cleaned up and put away. And here's the final pantry. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved recording it for you. I hope this helps you with your pantry if you're looking to get it in tip top shape and, and cleaning up and organizing. So here's the overview of how we've added everything to where it needs to be and put things away. Again, this pantry isn't perfect. Everybody's pantry is different. We are utilizing what space we have, making the best of what containers I have, uh, and it works really well for us. So here I'm just showing you what's in each bin. Uh, there was, uh, that bin is strictly just hamburger helpers. Those are emergency meals. We don't have them too often, but I do keep a lot of things on hand. That is something I wanted to note. Uh, I don't want to confuse people. You will hear me say that a lot. I am very big on emergency preparedness. Uh, so we have a lot of stock of things that, you know, if the world took a turn or if we were unemployed, or electric went out for several days, you know, just worst case scenarios, that I have plenty of things to be able to provide my children in case of those emergencies. So I have five kids. The oldest is 18 and the youngest is eight. And then there's two adults, me and my wife, Melissa. So those drink mixes, for example, we can knock one container, the large container out of that in like 
you know, three or four days flat if we had to depend on that as our drink source with, of course, jugs of water. So it really doesn't go as far as, you know, you would think that I have 10 years of stock up of Tang, <laughs> but it's really not. Um, it's just enough to make sure that my family is good in any type of uh, scenario. So I keep a lot of things as extras, backup, stock up, uh, emergency preparedness. I like to be prepared. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for somebody. Check back again next Tuesday and I will have a coffee bar Valentine's clean and decorate with me. Have a good day. Bye.